Good morning and welcome back to my kitchen. I'm Sugar with Sugar in the Attic Homestead. Today I'm going to be making a crock pot meal. It's going to be for lunch and beyond. I have browned one pound of sausage and one pound of ground beef. I'm going to make a crock pot meal that I can use later. I can add different seasonings. And it could be a Mexican meal, it could be an Italian meal, it could be just about anything you want. But it's a basic crock pot red sauce meal. The first thing I'm going to put in will be one pound of browned ground meat. Now I've browned this and also drained it. So you're not going to have as much fat or grease in there. The next thing I'm going to put in is going to be one pound of browned sausage. And it's just pork sausage. Let's mix that up just a little bit. Next, I'm going to add a couple of handfuls of green pepper. Now, these are from the freezer. I rough chopped them, but I want to add those in just for flavor. Next, I have from the prepper pantry, dried onion. We'll put about, I'm going to say about a fourth of a cup. And then just a can of tomato sauce. It's a 15 ounce can. But what I'm going to do in addition is I'm going to add one can of water to see if that's enough. It should be, because it's only going to cook about four hours. And really, the only thing that's going to cook are the green peppers, and the onions will moisten up. That is the entire meal. Later, what I will do is I will add the garlic at the very end. And actually, I think I'm going to add another cup of water. <clears throat> it's the can from the... Um, tomato sauce because it doesn't look like it has enough liquid in there. So total amount of water added is going to be 30 ounces. That's two 15 ounce cans from the tomato sauce. So we'll just stir that up. You can add salt and pepper if you wish. You could add other vegetables or you could actually add seasoning. And you can make a really big pot of chili or um, taco meat, depending on the size of your family. This is going to be, <clears throat> excuse me, for multiple meals and it will be stretched. I appreciate you stopping by. Now, later on today, when this finishes, I'll bring you back for a short and I'll show you how it turned out. And I'll also show you the first meal that we use with this tomato-based crock pot meal. All of these items came from the prepper freezer, pantry, and fridge. <clears throat> Liza's here. It's time for her to start filming, so I'll have to attend to her. Again, if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to see all of the upcoming re recipes that I'm going to have to fight inflation and foodflation and stretch your meals. I'll see you in the next video.